Hey, it's Anfa. Today I want to show you a different kind of tool. It's not necessarily music related, but it's a very useful thing to send audio from one jack server to another over a local network. Check it out. Introducing Zeta NG Bridge or Zeta Network Jack Bridge. Yeah, so for example, right now I'm playing back this video from Olive Video Editor, which uses Pulse Audio on my laptop and the pulse audio from my laptop sends to the network which goes to my desktop which goes to the audio interface connected over USB which goes to the monitors but it feels like it's connected directly to my laptop so it's not but Anfa pulse audio has a network function on its own why don't you use that yeah, yeah, I hear you, but this is not about Pulse Audio, it's about Jack! So, what is Zeta NG Bridge? Well, it's simple. It's a pair of programs, one called Zeta J2N, Jack to Network, and Zeta N to J, Network to Jack. These two programs allow you to send audio from one computer to another over a local network. In theory, only through a cable, and only for a local network, but in practice I'm doing this over Wi-Fi and possibly you could also do it over the internet so you would probably need way bigger latency and fast networks for it make, to make it actually work Man, slow down, I don't understand what you're doing like, can you just uh, start over and show me step by step how did you connect these two? Here I have Tmux, which is a terminal multiplexer, so I have uh, I have SSH'd into my desktop computer, which is over there, from my laptop, and here is a local console on my laptop. So first, I've run Zeta N2J on my desktop, giving it the local IP address and an arbitrary port number, I chose 9999. I've run it, it's waiting for the information packet, and then I have run this command on my laptop. Zeta jack to network IP address of the desktop PC, the same as here. And again, the same arbitrary port number 9999. I run that and the Zeta um, network to jack on my desktop has received the connection from my laptop. You see, this is the IP of my laptop. It's two channel audio, 48 kilohertz. And now I can just, you know, play something on my laptop. And as you can see, there is no USB connection to this interface from my laptop. But the audio is coming from the laptop. This is not a remote session. This is a local desktop. It's going through the, <laughs> through the Wi-Fi. So this box here, which is connected for a cable to my PC, and that PC is connected to the network to the audio interface, which is connected to the monitors, and you have audio from the laptop on the desktop. And I must tell you the latency is freaking I don't notice it. It's like it feels like it's just connected, like the net, the audio interface is connected directly to my laptop, which is not the case. It's, it's going through the Wi-Fi, not even a cable network. I would probably get better results if I connected this through uh, an Ethernet port, which I can do. That's not a problem. And I had some dropouts through the Wi-Fi network, but that's to be expected. I could increase the buffer. There is an additional buffer if you... Uh, read the manual, which you always should do, and I did. In the manual, it says you can uh, define an additional. Uh, yeah, it's record. You can define an additional buffer time, and that buffer will help you uh, with a fuzzy network setup. For example, over Wi Fi, some packets might get lost if they arrive too late, they will be, have to be ignored. But if you add an additional buffer time, you will be able to overcome um, an unstable network connection, which might be Wi-Fi, it might be over the internet. I don't have a way to test this over the wide area network, 
but I would be really interested to see how it works. You can also set it, by default it transmits 24-bit samples, so it's not the full fidelity because by default Jack runs at 32-bit float and it can also, I think it can run at 64, no, it, I think it not, no, no, it can't. But you can also transmit 16-bit integer, uh, so that's CD audio quality. For something like, you know, playing back music on a remote machine, you don't really need anything more. And it will save you some uh, throughput. It's called bandwidth, son. So you're gonna get better, better transmission, less dropouts over Wi-Fi, etc. So yeah, that's an interesting tool. I've learned this, actually, I figured out this uh, exists during Sonoy when another presenter has shown how to use that to create a, a network set up for, for sending music to your, to your uh, amplifiers, etc. And what happens is it goes out to a, uh, an instance of Zeta JN, J2N. And now I'm like, uh, I'm rendering something on my desktop PC. I can't use it to do anything else because all the RAM and all the CPU time is, is taken. So I thought, I'm gonna work on my laptop, but I wanted to listen to music on these speakers and I don't want to disconnect my audio interface from the desktop. So I figured I'm gonna use Zeta Network to Jack bridge. And it works. It's awesome. Ah, wrong window. Anyway, I hope you find this interesting and potentially useful in, in your work. And that's it, thanks for watching. I also want to thank all the people who support my work financially on Patreon. If you'd like to join them and help keep this show going, please go to patreon.com slash anfa or liberapay.com slash anfa. Now go and make some music, possibly sending it over a network. Bye. Ah, dropouts.